I just want to say thank you for the privilege and honor of this invitation. Indeed, there is no greater acclaim than to be honored as a mother. Yes, in my so many years in this life, I take pride in saying that my greatest achievement is being a mother. I am a mother not only to the beautiful children that I have given life and rest. But I am a mother to so many other people. God gives us the opportunity to be a parent to so many people. And I'm so blessed by being given such a chance, not only to my immediate family, but to the Filipino movie industry. <laughs> Even after almost five and a half decades, I still take pride in being called Mother Lily. For who will not be taxed to be given such a name, considering that I am just a movie fan? Those who know me will insist that Lily U. Monteverde is just a diehard fan who loves movies so much that she decided to make her own films like the studios of the glory days of Filipino movies in the past, Trigal Films was born out of love, a love for movies. Yes, movie making is also a business, a very expensive and high rise business, risk. But if the producer has no love for movies, then it is so easy to quit. If there is no personal commitment to movie making, then it is better to leave. But if you take making movies as an act of love, like a parent bearing children, like a father or mother guiding children in the form of directors, writers, actors, and actresses, then it is no longer just a business, it is a building a family. And I take pride that in almost half a century, Regal Films, now called Regal Entertainment, has remained and will always be a family. <laughs> it is not only about the family named Monteverde, because Regal has become a home to so many people, whose places in, in history are far greater than mine can ever be. Remember, Regal is about the works of national artists like Lilo Broca and Ismael Bernal. No history of the Philippine movies can be complete without mentioning the names of Elo Perez and Joey Cosentia. And how can you talk about Philippine comedy movies without including Luciano B. Carlos, more popularly known as Tatay Chanin? Oh yes, you remember Regal Films because of our notorious magic camisone. <laughs> there is always an urban legend about that infamous camisone worn by Alma Moreno, Rio Loxil, Shirley Hill, Lorna Tolentino, Gina Alahar, and so many others as a good luck charm. The magic camisone brought them to stardom. Many will also remember the original babies, Maricel Soriano, Snoopy Serna, Tina Bonabi, William and Albert Martinez, Alfie Anido, Richard Gomez, and Gabby Concepcion, and so many others. Now when I look back, how can I not dream with pride? I have played the role of mother to them all. I have played mother to the rectors and Regal, what is today? and how it always be remembered in the history of our culture. I have played mother to some of our most memorable and talented stars, whose movies will, be, will live forever, as they too will remain forever young each time. We see their images on screen. <coughs> how can I say that I have been so blessed? Not only because of the opportunities given to me in life, but because of the chance of being one of the mothers of the movie industry in this country. Now that Rita is almost 55 years old, I look back 
I look back and say that I am proud. I am proud of what the years have given me and what I have done, not only as a movie producer, but as a mover, a game changer. I look at all the big bosses of movie production now and smile to call me mother. Because once upon a time, they were working with me. They were trained by me and like any mother. They all carry a part of me in their beautiful and hopefully fulfilling careers. Like any mother would tell you, if you live long enough as I have been blessed, I can probably say I've been through it all. I've been through hell all the way to heaven and back. I jump back on my feet and continue because that is the right thing to do. A good mother is a fighter. And I would like to believe that I have survived through all these years because I never back out of my mothers. I know time has changed, as they should, but we got still here because Mother Lily, nearly 80 years old, is still fighting her battles and, we, and winning them in her own way. No, it is not about the prestige. Definitely not about the power. I can probably say again, been there, done that. <laughs> there and doing that, we will realize that the power and the prestige means nothing. And this is about what you leave behind and how your works can stand the test of history. It is about Bernard's Kalawahan, Relation, or Broken Marriage, or City After Dark. It is about Mike DeLeon's Sister Stella Air, or all the works of Broca, Joel Lamaha, Chito Rolio, Mario J, Joey Reyes, Mel Choclo, and other important movie directors who make up the library of regal films. It is about being there ready for change, making changes. Like any mother, you watch your children change, you will see the world change, and regal know that. I've been misunderstood because of statement I made, which I want to make clear. This is especially for those whose memories are too short. I love Filipino movies. As proven by the more than 1,000 films that I have produced, and I will be the first to fight for the Filipino filmmaker. Many yeah. yeah. <laughs> misunderstood me by presuming that I only fight for mainstream or commercial movies. Let me refresh your memories. Mother Lily is one of the first to open the doors to independent filmmakers when it was looked down upon and called to the people movie. So you remember that. You remember the regal produced films which were branded as second class citizen in the 1990s. It is this Pito Pito movie that opened the doors for Lab Diaz, yes. Jeffrey yes. Cheturian, yes. and even a master filmmaker like Mario O'Hara yes. who made the films that they truly wanted to share to the public. Yes. As any director, both young and veteran, as to who is the producer who has the highest respect for the artistic integrity of the filmmaker, go ahead. As my director, shooting films now and even then, as to how much Regal has given freedom for the filmmaker to fulfill his vision, regardless of what other thing, we look at the filmmaker, whether commercial or independent, because for me, I only believe in Philippine cinema and not levels. But I also believe in knowing the right time and place to show certain kind of films, not because I look down upon them, but because I want to give people the chance to see them for what they are worth. I believe that the true success of my film is not only its box office harvest or its critical success. 
A film can only be successful if it finds its audience, or the audience discovers it. You cannot force an audience to watch your film by telling them this is a good and their other choices are bad, right? That is the perfect way to lose your audience. I know because movies are also my children. As a mother and not only a producer, I should understand what they are all about and meant for. And I pray that there will come a time when there is no mainstream or indie movies. We will just call them Filipino cinema because there is what they are all about. Wow. So what future does Philippine cinema promise? We shall see. But we are living in exciting times and I still the same mother lady who is very excited to see what is bound to happen. People say change is coming, but in movies, change is always there. But in that is the challenge to know the change and to know how to deal with changes that are inevitable. And to all this, Rita is still very much around, alive and kicking, doing its matters, and discover new ways to bring more and better Filipino movies to the audiences. To end this talk, let me just say, it is good to stand here and share with you the wisdom of so many years. But remember, as you sit there listening to me, Mother Lily Monteverde is still the mother to so many. And I am still very much here. Thank you.